Hi there, welcome to my channel. I'm going to share a video with you today on how to organize your ClickFunnel funnels. Now you might say, well, what is ClickFunnels? ClickFunnels is a software tool where you can create sales funnels. And if you've never heard of it, you've never tried it, but you've, you're like, I want to find out what that is. I have a link below where you can get a 14 day free trial and go in and look at it and explore it and see if it's something that you're looking for. I have a whole playlist that I made about how to do different things within ClickFunnels. And one of the previous videos that I had made was how to organize your funnels. Well, guess what? ClickFunnels has updated their platform and it doesn't look the same. So I am making this video to update a previous video and it will be set into the comment section. So anybody that finds that one, hopefully you're here because of that. Um, let's go in and look. I will be honest with you, the first time I saw this, I just about freaked out. I thought, what a mess. Like all my funnels are showing up and it's not, I, I just spent so much time trying to organize and make them make sense that all of a sudden they look like this. Well, actually it's not so bad. You can see all of your funnels, but look up here in the search bar. See right now it says all. I can go in and all of those group tags that I gave my funnels to organize them previously are still here. Now here's one that says ungroup so if you have a bunch of funnels that you didn't organize you can just hit ungrouped and figure out well we don't want that down there we can figure out where we want to put them and before we leave today i'm going to show you how i can add a group tag so these are my funnels that are not grouped i want to group them i want to be organized and i can change my mind i can go back in open it up and group them but let's go back up here and see i have some that are under bridge these are all my opt-in funnels or bridging funnels um, i actually have a landing page um, these are all bridges but the rest of them are opt-ins um, i know that because i put them all in there but basically all of them i just called it bridge i could change it i could say opt-ins and separate them out but basically you can go in and just search for all of your group tags and then those funnels will come up now before we leave I want to show you how you can change the tag. So I'm going to go back into ungrouped and I'm going to go under coaching and I want to just put it in the group tag called grouping off or coaching offers. And then that way, even though this is my first, my only video or my only funnel, I've got YouTube videos on my mind. Um, you're going to go under settings. Even though this is the only one I have right now, I definitely want to have more as my coaching business grows. So I'm going to call it coaching offers and any other funnels that I make in the future, I can put them here. And then I'm going to save it down here at the bottom. Always save. Anytime you go into settings and you change anything in here, don't forget to uh, scroll all the way down and change it. And there you go. That's how you organize your funnels within ClickFunnels. And I highly recommend spend some time keeping things organized because as you grow and you get more and more funnels, it's going to get crazy. This way you can retrieve them easily if you give them a group tag name that makes sense. All right. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to look at my playlist. I've got it here at the top and I've got it also in the description below, but it's all how to click funnels. All these little questions that you ask, how do I do this? How do I do that? I've made about 40 videos or more um, that help you with that. Now, if you watch one, it needs to be updated. Just tell me in the comments of that video and I will be sure to update it just like I did here. And if there's a new question that you have that you've been wondering about and you can't figure out how to do it, let me know in the comments and I'm happy to make a video for you. Thank you for watching and you have a good one. I'll see you on the next video.